Welcome one and welcome all, fellow pals, to a place where you can get your life. Now, in today's video, we will be trying our best to place a dendrobium cakey on this platform. Stay tuned, fellow pals. Some of the things um, that you will need, I have already before us, which is some type of wood to place the um, cakey on. I chose this because you will see um, later. I have a pair of gloves because, honey, mama has to start using these gloves, okay? Mama has to start using them. I'm going to do a video, but you have to stay tuned. I have some fish um, wire or fish line. I don't know anything about fishing, so, other than fishing for souls. <laughs> yes. Um, I have my shears that you would definitely need to cut the dendrobium. You want to make sure to disinfect it with a little alcohol. And ta-da! Good evening. My New Zealand sphagnum moss. Okay. Now, like I said, mama don't know what she doing. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is try to get everything as moist as possible. So, I'm going to um, emerge this into some water, get the moss out of the bag, and start putting it into a little, um, into this bowl that has a little water in it. All right, foul pals, stay tuned. Now, foul pals, these are the roots of the cakey, which have grown all the way in the sheath of the um, mothering plant. That's the cakey, cakey right there. So I'm just going to have to remove this whole cane. Okay, that cane right there is where she is emerging from. Now, I'm going to do the best I can to record and do this at the same time, honey, but you have to stay tuned. Okay, pal, pal, so I have a plate for it to fall upon because if you know me, then you know mama is scared of the bugs, okay? And this baby has ants and everything all over it, okay? So I'm going to cut the cane all the way at the base. One nice um, snip, making sure not to cut anything else. I'm sorry if you can't get a close-up, but trust me, darling. Oh, always tied up. Oh, my God. Anything to make me have to play in these leaves with bugs. Oh, my God. This is so scary. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't know anything about this. Stay tuned. Okay, pal, pal. So, now that she is in here, I am going to submerge her into this pail of rainwater because I don't know what this baby has on her, living in her. I don't know, so to be on the safe side, we're gonna put it all in there and hopefully any bugs that's on there will flee, die, or something. All right, stay tuned. Pal, pal, so as you can see, the wood is darker, meaning that it is a little bit more, more, more moist than what it was beforehand. Now, like I said, mama don't know what she is doing. I have the fishing line right here. Um, where I was hoping was to be able to layer it on the bottom and then go over it again after I place the, um, the dendrobium orchid on top. Honey, 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 honey. Mama don't know what she doing, honey. She don't know what she doing, honey. I would, yeah, I would have to tie it up because once I watered it, it would come right off. Now, how in the world am I supposed to do that? See holes all in here. Maybe if I just got the fishing line. I'm sure if I was a woman, I would figure it out a lot sooner. Shout out to my women with the brain power, darling. But um, I'm trying to get this piece of line through here. I'm sorry, fair pals. This is probably going to be a tedious video. Okay, maybe if I did that. Oh, let's wrap it around. Oh, yeah, this is going to be very difficult. Mm. 
so um, I, if I knew how to weave, maybe that would be a better deal. Maybe if I was in Boy Scouts and they taught me how to tie all those nice ties or knots. Okay, so I'm thinking that this will work just doing this, but I'm thinking it's going to take a very long time. So I am going to put some more moss in here to um, get wet, and then I'm going to show you the end result before I place the dendrobium back onto it. But you have to stay tuned. Okay, pal, pal, so it's been about two weeks that this baby has been out here. And as you can see, those roots that I planted in there, honey, they have already taken off, okay? They are already on the edge of the basket. Um, this dendrobium also has algae growing all over it. Uh, me personally, I love it because it helps feed the orchid, okay, the dendrobium. As you can see, all of the ants, a whole ecosystem of bugs living on this hanging dendrobium orchid. And foul pals, it is almost impossible to keep um, bugs away from it. Now, when these babies have to come in the house, honey, that's gonna be a whole new video. But as you can see, bird poop, um, that is actually what helps feed the orchids when they are out in the wild, all of my new beginners. But um, this was an orchid root right here that looks as if something ate it off right here. Okay, but ultimately, um, this orchid gets all of the sun, honey. Very, very bright sun. She actually got just a little bit sunburn right there on that top leaf where that ant is. But, um, foul pals, if you know any information about um, the care for dendrobiums, meaning if you know how long this um, keiki will take to bloom, honey, please leave that information in the comment box below because, honey, each one teach one. That's how we doing it. Each one teach one, all of my new beginners. But I thank you so much for staying tuned. Until next time.